Hey everybody, Dr. A here, and in this video we're going to be exploring an example of computing the velocity pressure uh, for a building, and we're going to be referencing ASCE 722, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the given information. We're being told that a flat roof building located in downtown Memphis, Tennessee is classified as a risk category 2. The mean roof height is 20 feet, and then we're being asked to compute the velocity pressure for exterior walls for the height of 0 to 15 feet and then 15 to 20 feet. And we're also being told to use uh, an elevation factor of 1.0 and a KZT factor of 1.0 as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I like to do uh, whenever I don't have a figure, um, I like to draw things out to help me visualize it a little bit better. Now, we don't have a whole lot of information about this building other than it has a, a flat roof and the mean roof height is 20 feet. So this is about all we know. And um, so that's H is 20 feet. And we, uh, because it's flat, we know that, you know, the, the roof angle is about zero degrees, okay? So um, the, the velocity pressure, if you remember that formula, uh, we're gonna get that from ASC 722. And that's going to be equal uh, to QZ equals 0 0.00256 KZ, KZT, KEV squared. And I'm going to make a note here. This is equation 26.10-1 uh, from ASC 722. Now, we were already told uh, what a couple of these coefficients are. KE is 1.0 and KZT is also 1.0. So we really just need to get a couple other things. Let's go ahead and get the basic wind speed, all right? So again, I'm, I'm referencing ASC 722. Um, the basic wind speed is gonna be 105 miles per hour. Now, how do I know that? Well, what I'm looking at in ASC 722 is figure 26.5, dash one B. And I'm looking at uh, the dash one B because I was told that I have a risk category two building. Okay. So we should uh, locate Memphis, Tennessee, if you know where that is. Um, it's in the bottom left corner of the state of Tennessee. And we see that that basic wind speed is about 105 miles per hour. We see some contours there and we're kind of surrounded by 105 mile per hour contours. Okay. If you want to be a little conservative, you maybe can say 107 miles per hour, but uh, be, it should be about 105 miles per hour. Okay. So now we, um, we can make a little note here. This is 105 miles per hour. And again, when we punch this through in our calculators, we don't want to forget the squared there. Now, what about KZ? Okay. So what we're going to do to get KZ is we're going to uh, go to table 26.10-1 of ASC 722. Okay. And if you open up that table, what do you see there? Well, you see um, the exposure categories and you see the height above the ground level in feet. Okay. Now, if you uh, first, we need to figure out what's our exposure category. Okay. Well, we were told we're in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, and that's all we know. Okay. So without any further information, if you're in uh, the downtown of a city, probably you're in exposure category B. Okay. And if you don't remember what that is, look back at the definition of what exposure categories are. We have exposure categories B, C, and D, and B has to do with um, urban or suburban areas with closely spaced obstruction. So most downtown cities would be exposure category B, okay? The next thing we need to um, take a look at is we're asked to compute the velocity pressure at two different height ranges. We're asked to compute it for Z is from zero to 15 feet, and Z is uh, 15 to 20 feet. Okay. And so what we're going to need to do is pull out two different KZ values here based on what the problem is asking us. So if you look at that table, um, if your ground, if your height above the ground is zero to 15 feet and exposure category B, we're going to have a, a KZ factor of 0. 
five, seven. Okay, now what happens if your building is 15 to 20 feet? Well, the table immediately jumps up to 20 feet, right? It's got zero to 15 feet, and then the next row is 20 feet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write KZ equals 0 0.62. Now, could you calculate values in between here. Could you say, you know, 16 feet, 17 feet, 18 feet, 19 feet, 20 feet? Yeah, absolutely. Because you know what the governing equation is for KZ. Uh, it's found below table 26.10-1. But again, for practical intents and purposes, um, just grab the, um, the KZ value that actually corresponds to Z equals 20 feet and we'll kind of take it as like a block pressure diagram for there for for uh, for that okay now the other thing we want to take note of is I'm gonna say note the asterisk here on that table okay now if you look in that table um, there's a note at the bottom of the table that says use 0.7 in chapter 28 for exposure B okay when Z is less than 30 feet. So do we need to use that here? Well, not really because this particular example does not tell us to do anything regarding a design wind pressure from chapter 28. Chapter 28 is, a, uh, is the envelope procedure that deals with calculating design wind pressures based on that type of methodology. We don't know uh, what what further design methodology we're going to need, okay? Um, the, this example doesn't specify that. All it asks us to do is calculate the velocity pressure. If you watched the previous video on the background information, you heard me say the velocity pressure is usually not the end of the story. That's usually uh, used for later calculations. So what this asterisk here is telling us in, in the table is that, hey, if you are going to end up using chapter 28 for a later calculation, you need to be using KZ as 0.7 uh, for these particular heights. But we don't, we're, we're not, nothing indicates that we have to do that. So we're gonna stick with the, um, the 0.57 and the 0.62, okay? So now we're ready to calculate um, our final uh, values that we're interested in. We're gonna say for uh, Z, is zero to 15 feet. We're gonna say QZ is 0 0.00256 times 0 0.57 times one times one times 105 miles per hour. And we gotta square that 105. And so that QZ value is gonna be equal to about 16.1 PSF. And so that's one of our uh, values. And then the last value is going to be for Z equals 15 feet to 20 feet. We're going to say QZ equals 0 0.00256 times 0 0.62 times 1 times 1 times 105 uh, miles per hour squared. And that QZ is going to end up being about 17.5 PSF. And so what that means is um, the velocity pressure uh, on, on the walls of this building are going to be the following. If this is 15 feet and this is the rest of the 5 feet, we're going to have a, a velocity pressure distribution. that looks like this, and this is the 17.5 um, PSF, and then a little bit smaller than that, we're gonna have the 16.1 PSF, and then you know this would be like if it's acting on that wall surface. Now again, as I've said it a couple times now in this video and, and the previous videos, um, the, the velocity pressure 
um, is not is typically not the end of the story. This is just what you use to get to the design pressure. Uh, but this example was just meant for us to exercise how do we get the velocity pressure and how do we navigate ASC 722 to extract values we're interested in. So that concludes this video example. If this was helpful to you, please hit like and subscribe and be on the lookout for other information like this. Thanks for watching.